So given the diversity of their functions and uses, it is vital for their conservation and sustainable management to adopt a multi-sectoral and inter-institutional coordination across the different stakeholders and levels of government. Furthermore, to enable inclusion of peatlands um, in existing regulations or in the development of new ones, a country should adopt a national definition of peatland based on scientific evidence. Also, pri priorities for peatland conservation and sustainable management should be identified by inventorying them and assessing their roles and functions in the landscape, considering communities inhabiting and using them. It is therefore critical for governments to invest in deepening and promoting scientific knowledge on peatlands and to communicate their societal benefits and the costs arising from damaging them. So the first example that comes to my mind is the case of Peru. This year, the country published a supreme decree on multi-sectoral and decentralized management of wetlands. This is the first official document providing a national definition for peat and for peatland. One of these decrees articles stipulate that public authorities must adopt special measures for peatland conservation, rehabilitation, and sustainable management given their socio-economic importance and the services they provide for climate change adaptation and mitigation. The decree allows the use of peat for auto consumption, subsistence, domestic use, and um, sustainable and traditional activities, but prohibits its extraction for commercial purposes. The government took action on integrating peatlands into uh, national policies based on scientific evidence brought by national and international scientists and practitioners, including indigenous communities. This is the result of a long-term and fruitful collaboration between government and non-government actors through a transparent process. Further steps are still required for a full recognition of peatlands, such as their explicit integration in climate change strategies like REDD+, and NDCs.